right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's your man, RTP Skull Gang in the building. Welcome to another day of film session. Today, we are going to take a look at, you know, you know what it is, man. Who's your daddy? That's what we're doing. Mike Evans versus Marshawn Lattimore. We've had plenty of talks, a lot of people talking that yin yang. We're going to break it down and see what it really is today. Uh, a lot of Saint fan, I know you, you know, supposed to be talking about the Broncos right now. We got, we got, a, we got the rest of the today. We got the rest of the week to talk about the Broncos. We're gonna be get bringing down the Broncos too. But a lot of Saint fans are talking a lot of mess. They're a little upset. They mad because they got beat by the Raiders. So they're a little upset, but hurt. But, you know, that's not really the main reason why I wanted to do this or I just felt like I need to upload this video today. Reason why I felt like I needed to upload this is because there's a lot of Buck fans out there that are actually listening to them. That are actually believing into the hype of, yeah, Mike Evans needs to do better against uh, Latimar. Like, are you serious? Are you not watching the game? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to break it down. Uh, Mike Evans had what? One catch for two yards and a touchdown. And people act like he got shut down. Like he can't do nothing against Lattimore. I've said it many times. Lattimore cannot stop Mike Evans. Saints defense. They're good at stopping Mike Evans together as a defense. But Lattimore cannot stop Mike Evans. And we're going to look into that today. But before we do that, man, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click on that, click on the notification bell, make sure it says all so you know you're notified in as soon as I upload a video or go live. And if you're not new or you're new, click on the like button, show your boy some love, helps out the channel, helps out the video, grows both. I appreciate it. Um, but let's let's get into this, man. Let's get into this. I've done this like four times today, but every time I do it, something goes wrong. So hopefully everything goes right this time. But um, before we get into it all together, um, let me just talk about what we're going to watch today. What we're going to watch is we're going to watch every one-on-one -on -one matchup with Mike Evans and Lattimore. We're not watching every play that they're one-on-one -on -one that Mike Evans wins. It's going to seem like that. But we're not watching every play that only the plays that Mike Evans wins. We're watching plays that he won, plays that he lost. Any play that happened on the field when it was man on man, Lattimore versus Mike Evans. Whether they double teamed him or not, doesn't matter. If it was man on man, Lattimore versus Mike Evans, we're watching that. We're going to watch every play. Um... It's not as much as you think, because, again, people like to think like, oh, you know, every snap Lattimore was following Evans and shut him down the whole game. I mean, a good majority of the time, you know, they'll play some man on man. But uh, a lot of teams, even if they're a man coverage team like us, don't play as much man as you would think, because you do got to switch it up. So anyways, you'll see what I'm talking about. The very first play right here is going to be at the 10 minute mark but 29 seconds okay that's the very first play that they were actually man on man and as you can see mike evans is right here in the slot Lattimore's trying to press him which you will see is a mistake 24 7 because this man cannot cover mike evans and uh brady's gonna be looking his way as you can see he's doing pretty, he's keeping up with him pretty good, keeping up with him pretty good, keeping up with him pretty good. But it's right here where Lattimore starts to panic because he knows once Mike Evans gets in that catching, that catching animation, I guess it's not an animation, but you know what I'm saying, that catching motion, Lattimore panics because he knows the kind of beast that uh, Mike Evans is. And he gets the uh, PI. This is like a 40, 45 yard uh, play right here. Now this play is not in the stats. Right. You don't see it in the stats, but this is producing. Mike Evans is producing. He just produced. He just moved. He just took the ball and moved it 40 to 45 yards down the field. That's 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 what just happened. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the next play, which is they don't get into one on one until. 
Is this the same play? Let me see. You can see the hand fighting a little easier, a little better. There you go. There you go. So, yeah, this play helps out. Now, it don't matter what you want to say about this play. A lot of people right now are like, oh, but RTP, this, this, that. It don't matter what you want to say. There's plenty of other plays, baby. We got a lot of plays. Again, Lattimore versus Mike Evans. Uh, the next time they go one-on-one -on -one is going to be at the three-minute mark, 338. Let's get right here. should be this right here. Yes, sir. Uh Brady does not see, does not look his way. Um, Evans is going to end up being double covered right here. He's right here. This is something that you guys are going to notice a lot. There's only one safety high, and this safety is going to, you know, go left, go right, act like, oh, what am I going to do, Brady? Am I going to go this way? Am I going to cover to the right? Am I going to shade? Which way am I going to go? He does that. A, the safeties are going to do that a lot, but I think Brady knows. I think the, you know, Bruce Arians knows, Byron Leftwich knows, Mike Evans knows, and. Lattimore knows that most of the time they're going to be shadowing Mike Evans or shading, as I say, shading to Mike Evans' side. So you'll see this a lot with the safety, but that's what you're watching right now. Mike Evans is again in the slot right here. If you can't see good enough, he's right there in the slot. They're going to snap the ball. Brady doesn't even look this time, but it doesn't matter because pretty much uh, Evans was covered in this play. So let's go ahead and see it go. Gives him the, the hesitation, stutter step. Boom, tries to win the inside, which he does win the inside, but is covered basically by the safety. Brady already let go, lets go of the ball. It's to Scotty. It is what it is. So let's say one, one. That's one for one for Mike, one for Lattimore. They won, even though he had help over the top. But you know what? We'll give it to him because he needs all the W's he can have. So it's one, one. Next time they go one-on-one, -on -one, it's uh, at the 10-minute mark of the second quarter. First quarter is over. What is it? 10 minutes and 9 seconds. This is the next time they go one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see. Brady, again, does not look at Mike Evans' way, and he doesn't win this matchup. So Evans is right here in the slot. Now, you might even say this is a zone. You might even say this is a zone. But one, once again, I'll say that he's, I'll say Mike Evans blocked just to help, just to help Lattimore out, right? You could even say, oh, this is not really man on man. This is really a zone. Lattimore is really on Mike Evans. He kind of even falls there. Maybe that helps Lattimore out a little bit. Who knows? Who cares? Let's give it to him. Lattimore wins this matchup right here. It's 1-2. Lattimore. Lattimore is up. Oh, no. What's going on? Four minutes and 44 seconds is the next time I think they go man to man. Four minutes and 44 seconds. Is this it? Yes, sir. Uh, Brady does not see him, and Evans is open on this one. Evans is in the slot once again. There he goes. Safety comes down like he was going to play over the top, but he ends up coming down. And Evans completely beats him off the line once again. This should be a touchdown throw right here. This should be a touchdown throw to a few people. Again, this is something that Buck fans have to understand. Brady's still getting comfortable in this system. He doesn't know this system like the back of his hands, so he can't just say, ah, oh, he's covered, I know where to go next, and just dump it off like that. He's getting a lot of pressure, so that that, that doesn't help him. And he's not 100% confident in this system yet. He doesn't really know exactly where everybody's supposed to be right away, so it takes him a little bit longer to go through his progressions. As you can see right here, if we stop it, Mike Evans is completely open for a touchdown. Safety's even turning that way because, again, the safety is going to most most of the time shadow Mike Evans because they shade that way to him because he they know Lattimore cannot stop this man. So the Saints team knows that they have to shade Mike Evans side all the time, even though Chris Godwin is over here killing this man as well. And this is also a touchdown. Again, this is the first game that Brady's in. 
I'm more than sure that Brady, they went back, they watched the game film, and Brady's like, man, my wide receivers are the real deal. I know that I didn't believe in them that much because in camp they were going against our corners and our corners are nice and our corners go against them repeatedly. So they kind of know how to defend them a little bit better. But against other teams, these guys are going to eat. Chris Godwin touchdown, Mike Evans is touchdown. Even though this guy is running this way, he would not be able to catch Mike Evans. And this guy is running this way, so he would not be able to get to Chris Godwin when Chris Godwin is running this corner route. Either way touchdowns and that's another thing you're going to notice this a lot you're going to notice a lot of home run hits people like to complain about um, byron leftwich where where again you can if you want to talk about the run game you can complain all you want you you deserve to complain whether you want to talk about the formation of the run game or when we run the game or when we run the ball or when we don't run the ball um but when you talk about passing the ball and calling the plays when you have as many home run hits that are possible as we're going to see today, just on the clips of Mike Evans that we're watching, you can't really be mad because when Brady starts understanding this system and understanding what we're what it's doing to the safety one safety higher, whatever, however you want to say it, Brady's going to start understanding, man, these are touchdown home run hits every time, every time, every time. So this is why in the beginning. Um, our offense can stumble like we did last year, being one of the worst offenses in the league in the first four games or first two games, I should say. And then after that, we ended up being the number one passing offense in the league because these plays have home runs after home runs built in them everywhere and, and they pop off. We just have to have our quarterback be ready for it. And uh, yeah, let's get into the next time they go one on one. It is at the 39 second uh, mark before the first quarter is about to be over which is right here uh, I believe this is it is this it I'm not sure if this is it 39 seconds is it this one I think it is Mike Evans is in the bottom right here You'll see Mike Evans right here in the bottom. Brady doesn't see him. Mike Evans looks like he could be guarded by two two people, the safety over the top. But I think he still wins this if, if Brady decided to go to him. So, by the way, it's 1-1 one, one, Mike Evans, right? 1-1 one, one, Mike Evans. 1-1 one, one, Mike Evans, you know, tied. 1-1. One, one. So, Mike Evans does. There you go. Mike Evans beats him once again over the top. It's just, it's just you see it. It's It's there. You see it. Look, he's just he's gone. He's not catching Mike Evans. This is these these are plays that we saw Ryan Fitzpatrick give give uh, Mike Evans the shot. This is what we saw week one of that when 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 Ryan Fitzpatrick started for us and we played the Saints week one and Mike Evans was just killing Lattimore. It's because of this. It's because what Fitzpatrick does is he takes the shortcuts. All he's a, I got this guy. I'm just going to keep throwing to him. And Mike Evans constantly beats Lattimore, constantly, constantly beats Lattimore. And Fitzpatrick is the type of quarterback that's just going to, I'm not even trying to read the defense. I'm just going to well, throw it at you. You look like you get open a lot. I'm just going to keep throwing it to you. That's why you had that game. This is what you're seeing. You're seeing him just beat him off the line like he's going to do the rest of the time. Beat him off the line. Safety right here. You can't even say, oh, the safety might have got him. Safety might have covered him because he he the safety might be trying to protect all, you know, the second half of the field. But you can see the safety give his look over here to one of the tight ends. I don't remember what tight end it is. Uh, looks like OJ. He starts looking at OJ. If Brady's look, Brady's barely getting tackled right now. So it's not like he knew that it was a, the play is about to be over. If Brady doesn't get tackled, throws that ball. It's another touchdown. That's that's two touchdowns already. That's two touchdowns. So now it's three two. Um, 3-2 Mike Evans with two touchdowns. I'm going to keep that logged in. 3-2 and two touchdowns. Two TDs. So I can remember. Next time they go one-on-one -on -one is in the third quarter with 13 minutes. 13 minutes and 13 seconds. Uh, Brady doesn't look his way. Actually, this is not a one-on-one. -on -one. So this is not, I mean... This looks like it was about to be a one-on-one. -on -one. 
uh, he, uh, Lattimore ends up blitzing. He ends up one-on-one -on, -one on the uh, safety. Again, he was going to win that matchup. Again, people people sleep on Mike Evans' speed. People really be sleeping on Mike Evans' speed. But uh, he was going to win that matchup. But he had to P.I. to stop him from getting that touchdown. So, and again, this doesn't go into the stat sheet. But again, during a game, all these other plays that we're talking about, you can't say, oh, he balled in the game because he doesn't affect the game. If Brady doesn't look his way and doesn't throw his way, it doesn't affect the game. He's just there. But plays like this, even though this doesn't show up in the stats, it still affects the game. He just... Uh, Mike Evans just moved the ball another 40, 45 yards down the field right now. So as of right now, Mike Evans himself has made the ball move from about 80 yards down the field by himself. But again, that doesn't show up in the stats, so it is what it is. But this is not against Lattimore, so we're not counting it. Right now, it's still 3-2. Mike Evans with two touchdowns. Possible, obviously, right? Possible. Could have been. Could have been. Uh, let's go to the other. So the next time, since the second quarter, the next time Mike Evans and Lattimore actually go one-on-one, -on -one, it's at the eight-minute mark. I just wanted to put that last one in there so you guys can see that, and then I can talk about that. Uh, but eight-minute mark and six seconds left. It's going to be right here. Um, once again, Brady doesn't look his way, but it doesn't matter because Lattimore actually wins this matchup right here. So it is they're right here on the bottom. Brady doesn't look like I say it doesn't look that way. And let's see. And once again, look at the safety. Let's go back. Let's look at the safety. What is the safety doing? The safety's trying to get Brady's attention, trying to show him, hey, look, I might be running this way. Oh, did you catch me she, like look, giving away that I'm gonna run this way? Because what they're trying to do is trying to bait Brady into throwing to Mike Evans while this safety actually helps him over the top and actually takes the pick. They were able to do that a few times with Jameis, but uh, also the reason why Mike Evans be balling out is because Jameis takes those chances and sometimes they try to fake out and they still can't beat. They still can't double team Mike Evans. That's sometimes. But look, he's acting like, oh, okay, he's about to hike in. Let me start running this way like I'm shading that way. But in reality, I'm really going to help this man out because we know Saint fans know, or not Saint fans, but Saint players know, the Saint coaching staff know, Sean Payton know, Allen knows, they all know, Lattimore knows, they all know he cannot stop Mike Evans. So he shades him over the top. Lattimore knows he's going to get the help so he's able to stay underneath. He takes that, stops him right there. This is the definition of what I be trying to tell people. The Saints defense can stop Mike Evans. Lattimore cannot stop Mike Evans. But the Saints defense with the little shade over the top. With Lattimore knowing I have help over the top and I can be aggressive and then just play underneath. That's easy. It's easy to stop Mike Evans like that, right? Yeah, so that we'll give him that. We'll give him that dub. That's 3-3. Three, three. That's 3-3. Three, three. Still tied. Uh where are we at? Eight, six. Next time they go one on one is at the five minute mark. Five minute mark and 29 seconds. Five minutes and 29. It's definitely not that. Five minutes and 29 seconds. Here it is right here. Uh, Brady, once again, does not look uh, Mike Evans' way. He is one on one and he beats him. Mike Evans is on the top. Yes, he is. He's on the top right there. You see him beats him clearer, even puts his hands up to let Brady know, touchdown, throw it, touchdown. But he had already let it go because in his first read, he felt like he won the first read and he's going to throw it there. Plus, he don't have enough time with the pressure that's coming through to make any other reads and see if Mike Evans did win his matchup. Because again, what happens? They put the safety over the top, and what, what is he shading? He's shading this side, right? But he actually doesn't help over here. That's why he's over here over already to make Brady feel like, okay, he's more, he's playing more on that side, so he's probably going to shade that side. Safety knowing that that's what he's trying, he's trying to tell Brady, hey, I'm more over here, so I'm probably going to shade Mike Evans because I'm more over here, knowing damn well he's probably not going to do it on this play. He wants to help out on the other side. So he tries to help on the other side. As soon as he hikes it, look it. As soon as he hikes it, let's okay, okay. No, nothing with the run game. Okay, I'm dropping back. 
Mike Evans, I mean, Chris Godwin already over the top. If if Brady has some more time in the pocket, uh, doesn't have to throw off of his back foot like that. That's a touchdown again for Chris Godwin. But again, what are we talking about? One-on-one matchups with, with Marshawn and Adamore. Once again, that's another touchdown right there. He gets beat again by Mike Evans with a nice ball placement. Not even a nice ball placement. He's still getting a touchdown. So it's now, what, 4-3 four, four, with two touchdowns that Mike Evans could have possibly had already? Yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is keep watching Lattimore and Mike Evans. And as soon as he's left alone, touchdown. As soon as he's left alone, touchdown. Uh, what are we? 529 is the next time. Well, we just watched 529. Four minutes and 14 seconds. Four minutes and 14 seconds is the next time they go one-on-one. Uh, again, Brady doesn't look Mike Evans' way. He's one-on-one on Lattimore, and he beats him once again. He's uh, here up on top again. There goes the safety. Safety's completely going back, not showing who he's shading yet, not showing who he's shading yet. And you can see, you can see right now, Tom Brady is about to start throwing this way, right? But before that, look at Tom Brady. Look at the safety. Safety is really playing neutral right now, and Tom Brady is holding him. Oh, crap. Hold on. Tom Brady, Tom Brady's looking straight at the safety holding him. And he's just he's looking like he's neutral. And as soon as Tom Brady, even though Tom Brady, as soon as he looks this way, you can see that the safety, as soon as he sees Tom Brady make a movement, he just automatically jumps to Mike Evans' side. Because once again, they know that's the game plan. They know. That's the whole thing of, oh, Mike Evans is shut down. No, no, no. They try to make it seem like they're really shutting him down. They're not. They're not. They want you to think that they believe that that's what's happening, but it's not happening. So as soon as he makes a decision, no matter what side he decides, this safety jumps and shades, helps him out to the Mike Evans side because they know that Lattimore is going to get killed. Look, Brady, Brady looks as soon as... He, he does this. Look at what the safety does. Why is the safety running that way? As soon as he looks like he's about to throw it, the safety automatically runs to the Mike Evans side because they're so scared. They're so scared to leave Mike Evans one on one. They're so scared of Brady pump faking one way and then going back to Mike Evans, who's left one on one uh, with Lattimore and eating. So that safety, no matter what, the, the coordinator is telling that safety, no matter what. I don't care if Brady is looking down the receiver on the other side. Do not leave Lattimore alone with Mike Evans. Because why? Because he will get eaten up every time. Look at this. Look at this. Brady ends up throwing an anticipation throw. Let's go back. Let's go back. Throws an anti anticipation throw. How is that an anticipa anticipated throw? Brady, Brady's letting it go right now. He's already cocked back. He's letting it go right now. It's going to Scotty Miller. Scotty Miller is not even in his go route yet. He's about to start turning it up. He's about to start turning it up. He's anticipating as soon as he turns it up that he's going to hit him on either hit him on stride or with the speed force this guy to make to get a pass interference because he knows that he can't keep up with Scotty Miller. If he makes that same anticipated throw to this side. I don't care that he's even watching it. He's way too far to catch to catch Mike Evans going down the field. If Mike Evans just breaks that route and goes down this way. Let me make sure I'm showing this. I'm going to be mad if I'm not showing this. Okay, I am showing this. Um he is going to be he is going he's too far. If Mike Evans just takes this route and keeps going a little bit little bit little bit to the sideline like that, he's not he, he's not going to be able to catch that. So if he makes the same anticipated throw right now and throws on this side instead of throwing to this side look at mike evans and that separation he's about to just get right now boom boom gone 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 that's touchdown touchdown number four is that touchdown number four is that touchdown number four so what is that five five three five three uh um, uh, Mike Evans, five three. Mike Evans, Let's watch that again, full speed. 
on. 5-3 Mike Evans, huh? Uh, let's go to play 258. 258. Two fifty-eight. This is another play. Brady doesn't look to Mike Evans' side. Uh, he's one-on-one -on -one with Lattimore, and Lattimore actually stops him this time by himself. Let's see this. He's over here. This is uh, Mike Evans and Lattimore. Now he is playing man-on-man. -man. Now the guy underneath this linebacker underneath, he just Mike Evans just happens to his route takes him to that zone. So he does get help. Um, if that linebacker isn't there, Mike Evans can possibly can possibly have a touchdown because he's winning the inside, right? So he could possibly have that. But even though he wins the inside on Lattimore, he doesn't win. He, you know, they have the linebacker right there to take that away. So again, even though it's help, again he needs all the help he can get. We'll give it to Lattimore. What is that? It's what I say? Five, five, four now. Five, four, five wins for, uh, five wins for, uh. Uh, Mike Evans, four wins for Lattimore. Let's go to the next play. That's in the fourth quarter. We're now in the fourth quarter. It's the next time they go one-on-one uh, -on -one at 14-56. 14-56. Let's see. Once again, Brady does not look uh, Mike Evans' way, but he does win his one-on-one -on -one with uh, Lattimore. Here they are in the bottom right here. Lattimore is pressing up on him again. I don't understand why he keeps doing it because he's not good at it. Um, he takes the inside. This is exactly this is exactly what I was just talking about. He's he, Lattimore has the um, over the top, but that doesn't matter. The route's not for over the top. The route's for the inside. This is what the, the play we just looked at a little while ago where I said it looked like he probably could have had a touchdown if that linebacker wasn't underneath and helping him uh, stop the underneath, the inside. Well, this is how it looks. This is how that route looks with uh, Lattimore trying to stop Mike Evans when he's running a cross route like this um, and, and getting the underneath. Um, Brady does not throw it to Mike Evans. I think he's under pressure right now. He's probably getting sacked right now. I'm not really sure. But as you can see, he's over here completely alone. Completely alone. I mean, people want to talk about Michael Thomas. This this is the route right here that Michael Thomas, this is how Michael Thomas eats. This wasn't a direct slant. It was a freaking easy cross route. This is this is literally, this route right here is literally all that Michael Thomas did against the Bucks last year. That's all he did was this stupid route. It was a little cross route around the field. It's simple. You, you, you're not going to just get the, you're not going to just completely cover a, a, a wide receiver like Mike Evans or Michael Thomas. Well, unless you're Carlton Davis, shout out to him. But um, yeah, this is just open every time. So once again, something that Brady could have seen. I think Brady's somewhere under that pile. <laughs> Again, a lot of you, you can't really blame Brady for a lot of it. Some of it is you can see that, you know, Brady's not seeing it because he's not that comfortable in the system. He doesn't know every route that's happening at the same time. It's a lot of things going on at once, um, weapons and all that. But also, he also has to worry about the line because the pressure. There was a lot of pressure on that line. Uh, where are we at? Four minutes and fifty-six. All right, the next one. So right now it's what six to four, six to four. Mike Evans is winning. Next is seven minutes and fifty-eight seconds. Seven minutes and 58 seconds is the next time they go man on man, one on one. <clears throat> Let's see. Mike Evans is in the bottom. Yep. Mike Evans is in the bottom with Lattimore right here. Um, Brady doesn't see him, but he doesn't win this matchup with Lattimore. Lattimore wins this one. And again, he kind of did win it, but he drops it. So, hey, you give it to Lattimore. He drops it. He forced a drop. You give it to Lattimore. He he still won the inside, but you give it to Lattimore. So 6-5, Mike Evans is up by one. 6-5 when they're one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, let's go to the next play. That The next time they go one-on-one -on -one was the very next play, 7 minutes and 54 seconds. In fact, we'll let it go by itself so you know it's the very next play. This is the same play right here. You're going to see Mike Evans just basically drop the ball because he wins it. Hold on. 
yeah, Mike Evans should have had that. But hey, give it to Lattimore. 6-5, Mike Evans is still ahead. The very next play, uh, once again, Brady does not look for um, Brady does not look for uh, for for uh, Mike Evans, but he beats him, and it's one on one. Mike Evans is on right here on the top. There goes Lattimore. Brady doesn't look that way. Lattimore is one on one, and and Mike Evans once again just runs by him. I mean, Lattimore just cannot guard. It takes the inside. This is this, the, again another deep route. Takes the inside. Takes the inside. Easy. He's wide open. He's wide open. And this is why it's so hard. People act like, oh, Mike Evans route running. It's not about the route running. Mike Evans does the route running, but he's so fast, and that's that's the problem right there. You don't know when he's really trying to take you deep, or when he's just gonna cut curl that route and then if he does you you you're still trying to slow yourself down from trying to accelerate to cover the deep route that once he cuts it in you're lost you're you're not you're not in the you're not there let's go one more time fast Er, that's easy that's easy but brady's not watching him so that's seven that's what seven it was six five that's seven five now seven five michael uh mike evans is um ahead seven five uh we're at uh where the heck are we is that where we're at seven minutes and 54 seven minutes and 54 uh um, yeah so that's not the very next play i don't know why i said that's the very next play seven minutes and 54 uh the next time is five minutes and 59 seconds Five minutes and 59 seconds right here. So it's still 7-5. Mike Evans is winning the, the matchup so far. Uh, again, Brady does not look Mike Evans' way, but he wins again. There is Mike Evans right here in the middle against uh, Lattimore. Beats him off the line again. I mean, it's not exactly touchdown, but he beats him. He beats him. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can say that. I'm not sure if you can say that that safety would have beat him over the top, uh, or would if he would have if Brady would have threw it over the top if it was a go route. If if that safety would have got there, I'm not sure if he would have got there or not. But as the play continued to go, you see they uh, once again he curls that route. And now he beats the safety. So he beats, he beats, if you watch it again, he beats Lattimore off the ball, off the line, right? Beats him over the top. He's beaten. He's trailing him because he knows he's beat. And then he curls it and beats the damn safety inside. And once again, wide open. Once again, now he's still quarterback still running over here and throwing over here if he just holds on a little bit longer and waits for mike evans mike evans got all this mike evans got all that space so that's eight five eight five mike evans next play is at 547 559 547 right here is the it's the very next play the very next play uh once again, Brady doesn't look Mike Evans' way, which is up here. But once again, he beats <laughs> Lattimore once again. Talk about route running. Look at that. Look at that. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. People act like, oh, yeah, he, you know, Mike Evans is just, he's just a, they try to play Mike Evans and say, oh, he's just a deep route guy. He's just one of those guys where he runs deep, you throw the ball in the air, and he wins the 50-50 ball. No. He beats, he'll burn you deep. He'll burn you on long routes, long routes, and he could beat you with a little comeback because his route running is that nice that he can actually stop on a dime like that and beat you. Look at this. You've been, he's been getting beat all game. Er, puts the brakes on him. Look at this. How many yards? That's four yards down the field. Four yards of separation from that break. Four yards of separation from that break. Four yards of separation from that break. Yes. Okay. 
boom that's touch not, not touchdown but that's a that's a completion what's that nine five nine five mike evans nine five mike evans again if you're a quarterback that you're saying i'm throwing to mike evans because he's my best wide receiver mike evans is eating against Lattimore all day all game he is eating against Lattimore again he has there was three plays that Brady didn't look his way three or four I'm not sure I didn't keep track three plays that he didn't look his way that he should have had a touchdown so um let's see where are we at uh 540 that's 547 529 is that the next play after that I think it is 529 this might be 529. Again, Brady does not look his way, but he's one-on-one -on -one with uh, Lattimore, and he beats him again. He got two safeties. I don't know if one is dropping or not. Hold on. I'm trying to. There you go. Let's see. That safety's dropping back. Acting like he's dropping back, but he's really not. So it's really one safety high. The other dude is playing one safety high. Mike Evans is just, once again, I'm sure this is Mike Evans. Yeah. Basically. So let's try that one more time. Let's see that one more time. Mike Evans in the slot. Eh. I don't know if he he's beating him on that one yet. That's really tight. It's really hard because I don't know if he was coming back because of what happened or if that was the route or I don't I'm really not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not not really sure. I mean, let, let, let's be let's be honest. If that was Jameis Winston and they were trying to fit that comeback, it would have they would they would have fit that comeback. So, um, but again, let's let's for for Lattimore. I I really don't want to give Lattimore that because I really don't feel like I I really don't feel like giving Lattimore that. Um, matter of fact, we'll have that be a wash. It's still nine five. How about that? I don't want to give Lattimore that because that's. Nah, it's really hard to say. Oh, he, yeah, Lattimore was going to stop that. I doubt it. I really much doubt it. Um, 9-5 still, 529. What did we watch? 529. Let's 504, which should be this one, right? 504. Uh, again, Brady did not look mike evans way mike evans is eating again where is he at mike i'm pretty sure that's mike evans let's see let's go back let's go back nope mike evans is on the bottom mike evans is in, no that's not mike evans mike evans is on the top yes mike evans is on the top and once again i mean he's beat he's beat that's another touchdown that's another touchdown look at this let's take that back that's when Brady's throwing it. That's when Brady's throwing it. If he decide, if he's throwing that motion over here, that could be a touchdown. I don't know if he's going to make it. He might. He might. He might make that. But see, this is the thing with Brady. Brady takes care of the ball. He's not going to take that chance. Jameis Winston, he'll take that chance. Brady, he's not going to take that chance. But as far as one-on-one, -on -one, yeah, Lattimore is beat once again. Once again. Lattimore's beat. Uh, what is that? 10. 5? Is it 10 5? 10 5? I think it's 10 5. Last play that they were one on one, 4 14. And even if you don't, and even if you don't want to give uh Mike Evans saying that that he would have completed that, again. He is not shutting down. He's not stopping Mike Evans from getting the catch. This man is stopping Mike Evans from getting the catch if there's no catch. Because if Brady throws it to him, he's nowhere near the play to stop it. He's not in the play to stop it. He's beating him already. So that's the main part of this video is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. If they stop Mike Evans, it's not because Michael um, Marshawn Lattimore is shutting Mike Evans down. It's because as a team... He has help over the top. But whenever he does not have help over the top, it's touchdown. And we've seen it already countless times. So let's get to 5, 4, 4, 14. This is the last one. 
414. This is the last time they go one on one. Mike Evans is on the top. And once again, once again, this one, I don't feel like that safety for sure wouldn't have been able to get there. For sure, I don't feel like that safety would ever be able to get there. Mike Evans is over here. He's going to go around him. Just easy. Just easy. Just easy. Brady anticipation throw. Mike Evans get, gets that. Look at that. He's open. He's open. One more time. We're going to go back. Brady decides to throw it right there. Right there, Brady is deciding to throw it down there. If he lets go of that ball and he's focused on Mike Evans, he's focused on Mike Evans over the top. Over the top. He's beating him. So that's 11-5. He's beating him over the top. That's 11-5. So, again, don't sit here and tell me, oh, we don't know if he would have beat Marshawn Lattimore just because, oh, he Brady was letting go of that ball. He probably, if Brady would have been facing that way and thrown that way, Marshawn Lattimore would have kept running. There's something you want to say? What? Okay, go play. Um, did you finish? Sorry. So, um, we've seen plays where uh, he's completely one-on-one -on -one and he burns them. He can't keep up with him, okay? He can't run with him. It just is what it is. He cannot run with him. We've seen plays where he takes him off over the top. We've seen plays where he curls it in, or deep deep uh, out routes. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, deep in routes, I mean. Um, we've seen comeback routes where he stops on a dime. Marshawn Lattimore still goes four yards past him. Um, he cannot stick with Mike Evans. That's just what it is. He cannot stick with Mike Evans. Um, um, again, that play that we were just looking at a little while ago, um, where it looks like, oh, but if Brady would have looked at, like that, maybe Marshawn Lattimore would have stayed, would have ran a little bit faster with him and stayed on him. We already seen it. He can't. He can't. He will get burned by Mike Evans every time. So there's really no excuse. I don't want to hear no more. Oh, he's he's uh you know shutting down um uh uh Mike uh uh Mike Evans. Mike Evans has to do better against Marshawn Lattimore. Mike Evans is killing Lattimore. Okay. If you want to say that you're shutting down, that they're shutting down Mike Evans, say the Saints do a good job at shutting down Mike Evans, if that. But it really ain't that because if the quarterback wants to give Mike Evans some production. Mike Evans is just waiting for the quarterback to throw it to him, period. In fact, we should be rewarding Mike Evans for being patient because he's had to be patient now two years in a row where he's had to be patient with his quarterback, understanding that, yeah, no matter what they're showing, Mike Evans is still eating. But he has to be patient because his quarterback is learning the system, okay? But, uh, yeah, you can say that the team, as a team, the Saints know how to slow down Mike Evans. Not stop, but slow down Mike Evans. But if you're dumb enough to really think that Marshawn Lattimore one-on-one -on -one has been able to keep up or stop mike evans we've seen the matchups one-on-one -on -one, it's 10 to 5 10 to 5 out of fifth what 15 different plays he wins 10 times when he's by himself with Lattimore. so let's stop with the Lattimore shutting him down conversations because it's obviously not true okay Shaman RTP, Skull Gang in the building. I appreciate you guys. Once again, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification bell. Make sure it's on all so you're notified as soon as I upload anything or go live. Um, and if you're new or not new, hit that like button because it helps out the channel, helps out the video, and shows your boy some love. So I appreciate you guys uh, being here watching this video. Again, I got some other videos. Don't forget Rico Damas has his prediction for week three coming up. Uh, if you haven't yet, you can 
can ask Rico Damas anything. Yeah, he, ha he has his own little episodes where you ask Rico Damas anything and he'll answer them. He can tell the future. The hotline number for that is 702-323-6075. You can always call that hotline number and leave a message anytime you ever want and RTP me. I'll get back to you on it, on the question or whatever. Or if it's for Rico Damas and then you want to know something about the future, he'll answer it. So, Shaman RTP, Skull Gang in the building. I'll see you guys next time I see you. Deuce. Just to ring when you kneel, we got Brady, so shout out to Bill. Bill.